Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem. We begin with Allah's blessed name. We praise Him and we glorify Him as He ought to be praised and glorified. And we pray for peace and bl for blessings on all His noble messengers and in particular on the last of them all, the blessed Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam as we greet you in blessed Rajab with this dua, the month of Rajab. With this dua, which is masnoon. Allahumma barik lana fi rajabin wa shaban wa balikna ramadan. O Allah, kindly grant us blessings in this month of Rajab. And in the month of Shaban, which follows. And grant that we may live to reach blessed Ramadan. We treat, we want to return to the subject of the jasad. We just spoke in my last video about Dajjal being a jasad. And we don't have the time to devote to explain how we came to that conclusion. But we've done it several times already. And MashaAllah, I thank Allah that we have so many of you, so many of you, and your numbers are constantly increasing who have the capacity to think and who can easily recognize without any difficulty through insight, through your capacity for independent thinking not show me the hadith no, no, no Allah sent the Quran to people who think and in my old age this is the this is the joy in my heart to find so many of you now, particularly young ones, who have the capacity to think and to easily recognize through insight that the jasad is the jal. And we realize that, uh, that the jasad, in order to be able to claim uh, the throne of Solomon alayhi salam and to impersonate the Messiah the true Messiah that he has to act immediately when Solomon dies in order to be able to convince the jinn who have been ordered by Allah this is the shayateen of the jinn the satanic jinn not the believers to work for Suleiman and if anyone disobeys Solomon he would be punished with terrible punishment this is in the Quran so when Solomon died this was a moment when the Jasad the Jal acted swiftly holding on to the staff of Solomon and that staff that I saw which I saw the staff had something in it called the min sa'a with the seam of the staff which gave to the one who is holding on to that staff the capacity to intervene in time innama nasiyu ziyadatun lil kufr says Allah this intervention in time to corrupt time is the road to ever increasing blasphemy and disbelief in faith in, 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 in truth and so the 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 the, the jasad was able to deceive the jinn and he's still doing it to this day and the quran says this is surah to saba let me repeat, let me uh, recite the whole ayah Ba'da'uzu billahi min ash-shaytani rajeem Falamma qadayna alayhi al-mawt And when we ordain that Solomon should experience mawt, should die Ma dallahum ala mawtihi illa dabbatul ard They did not know that he was dead until until what the Allah is not speaking about all the public the public already knew he was dead and buried yes it is the the jinn who were working for Suleiman 
the shayateen of the jinn. They did not know that he was dead. They still do not know to this day that he is dead. Ma dallahum ala mawtihi. Ma dallahum ala mawtihi illa dabbatul ard. Ta'kulu min sa'atahu. But when dabbatul ard comes, and consumes the min sa'a, meaning the min sa'a of his stuff, min sa'atahu, min sa'atahu, the min sa'a of his stuff. Then the min sa'a of the stuff will collapse. When the min sa'a of the stuff collapses, then and only then the jasad will lose his capacity to deceive the jinn. And only then would they realize that this is not Suleiman, this is not Solomon, this is someone else. And if we had that knowledge of al ghaib we would not be today on all this time in this, in this terrible punishment. So who is Dabbatul Ard? Who will consume? Would you please listen to me? Would you please listen to me? Particularly if you are my critic. Dabbatul Ard is not going to consume his stuff. They are not termites. They are not earthworms who are going to nibble at the bottom of his staff. And after they spend months, maybe years, nibbling at the bottom of the staff, that the staff would lose its balance. And only then the staff will collapse and then the body will collapse. And so that jamat, that jamaat, which is a jamaat of sheep and cattle and goats and camels, and of course nothing we can do will ever change their mind. It's as though they've been blocked by Allah and they will never ever change. I don't know. May Allah open the hearts of those which have not been blocked. They will always forever believe that it was the body of Solomon which was sitting on the throne for months, maybe years, with nobody knowing he was dead. That Jamaat, excuse me, that the Jamaat which believes, <laughs> excuse me this nonsense, that Jamaat continues to hold the wrong view. It is not. The Batul Ard is not going to consume his Sa'a, his stuff. It is going to consume his minsa, the minsa of his self. And therefore, it has to be someone or something with a capacity to destroy the inner miraculous function of the staff, which allows whoever is holding the staff to intervene in time and bring time forward and backward and show Solomon still alive when he is dead. So what or who is the mean this the Batullah? That's the question. My answer, which is the correct answer, there is no doubt about it, is the is the Dabbatul Ard is someone or something, most likely something, not someone, who has the capacity to destroy the minsa of the star. That is the correct answer. Can we identify that force which has the capacity to destroy the minsa of the star? Here we are engaged in in interpretation and when we make an interpretation there is no need for boxing gloves you don't have to seek to crucify me 
No, we can differ when it comes to interpretation because only Allah can confirm that it is correct. So you don't have to mock at me and insult me and use abusive language. No, 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 <laughs> no, not for an interpretation. I have held a view in the past that was wrong. I, re I now realize I was wrong in my interpretation. 20 years ago when I was saying that the battle art is the, is the, the state uh, of Israel. And I remember there was a very famous sheikh, a Saudi sheikh, who wrote a book. I wish I could remember his name now. Very famous man, a contemporary scholar. And, uh, and his view is that the battle art is the Zionist movement. This was 20 years ago. But my, my thinking has changed now, yes. And I no longer hold the view that Dab Batulard is, uh, is, is the state of Israel. Rather, the Dab Batulard is, I believe, the electromagnetic waves which are now inundating us with 2G and 3G and 4G and 5G and 6G and so on. Because of which the production of honey is now declining because of which small birds can no longer navigate because of which i believe the the capacity for memory in the children is being damaged and children who should have the most powerful of all memories a child is able to memorize the whole quran at the age of eight and nine and ten eleven we can't do it at our 40, 50, 60, 70, they can do it. That phenomenal memory of the child is being damaged now. So that tomorrow you will not have any hafiz of the Quran from the city. It's only a child growing up in the village who will memorize the Quran. And so this is my view on the battle, and Allah knows best.